Hi everybody, it's Matt live from sure to grow and this is Jeremy Borger. Hi everyone. Hey Jeremy, how's it going? Good Matt, why am I here today? Why did you drag me out of bed to come do this? Well really the reason we're here is because there's been a myriad of requests coming through emails and telephone calls requesting for us to do some how-to videos on how to build your own systems. A plethora of requests. Yeah, a veritable cornucopia if you will. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to build a mini DWC bubble cloner. Now I know nothing about hydroponics or plastic drills. I, I, I'm an imbecile. I'm so painfully aware. Take me, take me step by step. DWC, what is that? DWC stands for deep water culture. Really okay. all that is, it's a really fancy pants term for describing a vessel that's filled with water that we're then gonna place some oxygen stone or other um, method for aeration inside of it. We're gonna bubble that bath and create a very oxygen rich nutrient bath. It sounds complicated. It's not, it's very okay. simple. Okay, so, so what are some of the benefits of using this system as opposed to all the other hydroponics? That's systems, a right? fantastic question, Jeremy. Thank you. Thank well, you. Th the reason we're gonna use this system is one, it's inexpensive to build. Okay. It's very cheap. Anyone on a budget can build this system. Okay. It's also very simple to build. So even if you're mechanically declined, uh, even if the only thing you've ever done in your life is watched a Bob the Builder video, you can build one of these. Uh, it's very basic. It also, with a few enhancements, will produce results as good, if not better, than some of the most high-priced systems on the market. All right, so first what we're going to need is a tub or a vessel. Uh, I've chosen this one right here. This is about a seven liter container. So this is just the standard kind of storage device that you would pick up at any big box store. We don't want to give any free promotion, but you know, that you could normally store stuff in these plastic boxes. Absolutely. Um, try and find one that's relatively durable. Don't necessarily buy the cheapest one that's on there. Okay. This one is clear. Um, I would suggest if you found one that was clear and you found it to be the right size that you spray paint it black. I left this one clear for demonstration purposes. So people can see, but yeah. you don't want any light to get in. Absolutely not, because what you'll have up happening is creating algae in your reservoir okay. and also air, uh, light pruning your roots. And that is a bad thing. It's a terrible thing. Okay, so and these, this, I mean, depending on the size, you can get any size? Any size. What we would like to do for this one, this is about the perfect size for a cloner, but if you want to grow full scale plants, you buy a much larger container. So maybe 26 liters, 32 liters, 48 liters. So this one costs you just a couple, couple bucks. bucks. Okay. Um, what's nice about this though is, you know, it, it's, it's small, it's compact, and it's inexpensive. Okay, what next? Air hose. This is one eighth inch diameter air hose. Um, it's also black. It's imperative that it's black. You don't want to use clear. That will lead to algae buildup in your line. So again, once again, a bad thing. Bad thing. Now, where do you where do you get this stuff at? You can get this in a hardware store, but you can also get it at any aquarium or pet store. It's basic one eighth inch black airline tubing. One eighth inch airline tubing. How much does that cost? Uh, a couple bucks. Okay, everything is a couple bucks. All yeah. right, what's next? Uh, we actually have a standard blue bar air stone. Now this uh, looks like what goes in a fish tank. It is exactly the same thing that goes in a fish tank. Okay. Um, this is about 230, 240, depending on where you're at in the country. Okay. Uh, also very inexpensive. Now what For, do you mean 230, 240? $2.30, $2.40. Oh. $2 okay. Um, with you now. I'm going to place one in the container that I'm going to build today, but if you want, you could add two, three, four. It's not going to hurt. Okay. Uh, you're also going to need an air pump. Can you hand me that air pump real quick, Jeremy? Yes, sir. Uh, this is just a basic air pump. This is a Tetra 100 that we like to use in our grow facility. Um, you don't necessarily need one this powerful, but this is the one I brought along today. And, the, we're, and this is the most expensive part of it the It is system? the most expensive part of the system. You can get one of these online for about 20 bucks. Um, okay. but they range in price anywhere from about 14 to 80, depending on the amount of uh, air that is displaced. Now, where can you pick, the, pick them up uh, locally? Uh, aquarium store, once again. Okay. Uh, pet shops will have those on hand. Okay, cool. And so, is, that, is that all we need? That's all we're gonna need to build this system. Okay. But what's great, like I said before, if you want to build a larger system, you don't have to just use our, our handy two inch cloners that, by the way, fit all the existing systems that are on the market. Um, you can also use some of our larger inserts like the ones we have here. So what you would do with a larger system is you would buy a larger vessel, cut a larger hole in the top, slide one of these nice net pots right in the top, take our insert, plug it right in, and you're done. So sure to grow has these, all these sizes you guys have, depending on what size of system you want to build. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, we make 10 different sizes. So now Regardless of the system size, we're going to make an insert for your application. Do you make different? Do you use different inserts depending on what you want to grow? Well, it's going to depend on the size of the plant. The general rule of thumb: the larger the plant, the more substrate you're going to want. So, in this circumstance, you know, for a plant like a pepper or a tomato, this might be nice. 
Uh, if you're doing basil or thyme or some type of herb, this pot would be uh, more than sufficient. Uh, since we're doing cloners today, we're going to go with this nice two-inch cloning puck, specifically designed for this application. Okay, so what do we grow for something like this size? Well, this isn't really a grow application. This is the propagation of a cutting. So we're going to take a cutting of a plant, we're going to slide it right into this longitudinal slit, Okay. close it right up, plug it in the top, and what we're going to do is we're going to fill this with water, and through you know, a course of you know, 7 to 14 days, that cutting will produce roots. Okay. So you're going to create a genetic replica of the original mother plant. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's build this thing. I'm ready, Matt. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a one and three quarter inch hole saw and we're gonna drill some holes in the top of this. This one would be uh, perfect for about six sites. You don't wanna crowd it. So go ahead, drill that first hole. So this Jeremy. is a standard drill and it's got a... Inch and three quarter hole saw bit on it, which is perfect for our two inch cloner. Okay. All right, easy there, Tiger, Whoa. easy. Now you want to use a drill bit that is a little bit smaller than the cloner so it doesn't just fall through. That's correct. And I like to use a hole saw instead of a paddle bit because it seems to give us a much cleaner cut. So once you got the hole drilled in the top like this, you can take the cloner, plug it right in, and done. And for the sake of time, we've already went through and we've built one. Hmm. This is kind of like when they bring out a, a, the finished pie That's at, correct. on a cooking show. So as you can see from the top of this lid, we've made this into a six site cloner uh, with six STG uh, cloning inserts. We can plug the top right on, snaps right on. But what we have to do is we have to install that air stone that we talked about earlier. Okay. All right, you want to do this? All right. Slide it right through the hole in the back. That's so you have to drill a hole in the back. Yeah, that hole is about a 3 8 inch hole. You want it to not be snug, but you don't want it to be too larger either. And you also want it to be above the water line. Obviously. Or else you're going to have that flooding problem that we talked so about earlier. Plug that right in. All right. Let's drop that in there. And if you want to plug this into the pump, okay. I'll snap the lid on and then you can plug the pump in. Now, why do you need bubbles? Bubbles is what keeps those root borne pathogens at bay. It also creates a very, very comfy, cozy environment for all your roots. Is it like when they put a fountain in a pool? It is like the, park. yeah, the so aeration, water yes. Water keeps moving. So All do you right, want to plug that thing yeah, in yeah. so they can see this thing bubbling? Bubble away, oh, look at that. So All as right. you can see, we're generating bubbles. We're creating a very nutrient-rich environment. We have six of the STG cloner inserts right in the top. What I want to do right before we go is to show you exactly where you would like to have this cloner placed. If you plug it in right like this, you want that stem to be just below the water, about an eighth of an inch. Okay. That's ideal. All right, cool. Pretty easy, right? Pretty, yeah, even I can do it. Very effective, very inexpensive. So we spent the last couple minutes discussing how to build this system, discussing the materials involved in the system. Yeah. Uh, I also want to talk a little bit about the Storm Series inserts that we just brought to market. Uh, these inserts are designed as a complete replacement for hydrogen. You saw the two-inch clipper cloner that we used in this system here. But we have, like I said, 10 varieties, 10 different sizes to fit every application. Uh, it's pH neutral, it's inert, and it's sterile. Um, it doesn't get any easier than this, guys. Um, you're going to have phenomenal success, and it's going to enhance your growing experience. There's no reason not to use STG in your system. Yeah, this seems like a pretty basic, I mean, you just plug it in there and just that's Just plug it, it in and go. You No more worries about washing the dirty balls. Who likes washing dirty balls anyways? I don't like washing dirty balls. I haven't washed balls in weeks. All right, cool. So um, if you want to get some more information about how to build this system, go to www.suretogrow.com slash DIY. You can also check out our other videos at www.suretogrowvideo.com. Once again, this is Matt the Grower with Jeremy Borger. Hi. Everyone have a great day and keep on growing. Peace.